Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like to introduce our presentation, which is about the Brazilian regulatory policy in relation to the transport sector, mainly the fuel sector. My name is Israel Araujo from the University of Sao Paulo. So, uh, the main thing is that the fuel sector is close related to the air pollution, is a, a hard to abate sector. And then uh, one of our main uh, path to decarbonize is uh, changing the fuel uh, by using a biofuel that can uh, replace the, the, the fossil fuel. Uh, our example is in the gas in, in the diesel by using ethanol and biodiesel. So uh, this is uh, quite well known for anyone here uh, is about the 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 role, the root of the uh, how we build our framework in the climate change, which. Uh, started the, in the last century uh, by discussing in Rio de Janeiro and, and after the Rio plus 20, and then in the Paris Agreement, and that's how we analyze it. So uh, even have many countries doing effort to minimize or to deal with the climate problem, uh, such as the UN, um, by trying to deal with uh, different countries, the, the pollution in the, in the, in the transport sector uh, remain as a important uh, goal to be tackled to these countries. Uh, and in, in Brazil, uh, the, the, the main arena we have observed is in the Environmental National Council, uh, through the resolution number three, uh, and for sure the Paris Agreement uh, in 2015. So uh, what we have is the national determined contribution. Uh, in Brazil is the aid intended uh, in DC uh, with a, a path to deal with global warming by trying to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, in terms of uh, country, the environment, uh, environmental ministry uh, is the, the holder of the agenda. And then uh, this, the minister tries to, to negotiate with other sectors like uh, energy or industry or economy to to have a commitment uh, of the, the whole country. So uh, our main goal is the 37% of uh, greenhouse gas reduction by 2025 and 40% in the next eight years. Uh, just as a long target, uh, Brazil is trying to, 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 to to have a target of uh, zero emission by 2060. So uh, what you have to do is analyze in this kind of intervention and make it mitigation to the transport, transport sector as a hard to abate uh, uh, segment. So the main goal is uh, dealing with uh, different uh, legal frameworks such as uh, Brazilian uh, uh, policy for for renewable fuels, the renewable bio, uh, and the uh, Paris uh, Agreement, as well as uh, our National Council of Environment. So uh, the the most close related uh, action uh, and policy is the renewable bio, which uh, have some instrument. Uh, celebrated and 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 uh, being uh, in agreement of the uh, private sector and public sector and enforced by the law uh, that uh, try to to 
to fulfill uh, marketing rules uh, for uh, a mix of biofuels and the possibility of having new biofuels, new technological path uh, incentivized by this kind of instrument. So the Renova Bio policy uh, intends to promote the decarbonization of the transport sector, um, ba basically using uh, this kind of uh, cap targets of greenhouse gas emissions, the biofuel certification by third parties, and as a result, the decarbonization credit, the CBIOs. And uh, that is uh, a kind of instrument uh, that's trying to, to value the environmental benefits generated to the use of biofuels in our mix of, uh, of fuels as a, as a rule. So the, the HOTA program, uh, the segment of mobility and logistics, uh, comprise a part of the federal government's strategy to develop a national industry by providing expansion in a kind of globalization of the Brazilian automotive industry by exporting vehicles auto and auto parts. And uh, the program uh, presents a series of guidelines in, in a rules uh, include a stimulus to produce new technologies and innovation closely related to energy efficiency and, uh, uh, and, and command and control rules for the new vehicles produced in Brazil. So the PROCONV, the Air Pollution Control Program uh, for motor vehicles uh, and the related uh, programs uh, are also other essential instruments to deal with the, the patterns of the fuels uh, in general, not only fossil fuel, but biofuels um, that is used in our energy sector or even the, only in the transport sector. And it represents uh, a kind of uh, command and control uh, instrument to reduce the greenhouse gas emission too. So we have you try to analyze the feasibility, effectiveness, efficiency, and applicability of measures to control uh, this kind of uh, of problem, and and then reduce the carbon emission. So it's kind of essential to analyze the the primary law, the standards, the infralegal uh, framework, and how the different agencies uh, try to deal with this complexity of uh, framework. So that's all that we have to, to present for now.